both copper and what is essentially glass or fiber optics have their advantage and their unique characteristics. Copper has already existed in many places and it is cheap in network device connection. However, with the dramatic reduction in cost of optical fiber deployment, the future proof of optical cable shows more advantage over copper and has a better prospect in future markets. Speaking of cost, a few years ago, the overall price of fiber cable was nearly twice than that of the copper cable. But now the price between the copper and the fiber cable has narrowed and the price of fiber component and hardware has also reduced. Let's start with a good old fashioned electrical power transmission method, the copper cabling. It is cheaper than laser power transmission over fiber because up until this point most people overlook the cost of wiring with copper networks. They shouldn't because with copper comes distance and with distance comes more equipments which in turn increases the cost of copper dramatically. Next comes into play bandwidth. Bandwidth is best defined as the maximum transfer rate of data, usually internet connectivity or a network's capacity which is generally expressed in gigabits per second or megabits per second. The more the bandwidth you have, the more amount of data you can transmit at a given time. Bandwidth is not the same as speed as bandwidth refers to the maximum amount of data transfer per second whereas measure of internet speed is based on the actual amount of data transfers per second. Bandwidth is effectively the amount of potential speed which can be used. Said that a slow data connection or other connectivity issues such as jitter or packet loss are frequently caused by insufficient bandwidth. Fiber internet uses thin bundles of optical fibers or strands of very pure glass as narrow as human hair to transmit data using pulses of laser light. On the other side, copper cables literally use copper wires and are significantly bulkier than your fiber optics, which was initially designed to carry voice calls and data via electrical signals. Here the bandwidth differences are effectively the difference between photons and electrons. While copper uses electrons for data transmission, fiber uses photons for its data delivery. We all know that light is faster than electrical pulses, so fiber can transmit more bits of data per second and offer higher bandwidth. The transmission capabilities and the cost are the only differences between these technologies. All data signals degrade over a range, but fiber offers significantly better signal durability. Where fiber loses only 3% of its signal over a specific distance, copper loses 94% of its signal at the same distance. Fiber optic bundles do not conduct electrical current, making fiber optic data fully resistant to fire, electromagnetic interference, lightning or radio signals. Copper cables on the other hand are designed to carry electrical signals and this makes copper cables quite vulnerable to power lines, lightning and deliberate signal scrambling. Copper is highly conductive and this makes it great for carrying electricity to your home. Copper wires use the movement of electrons to carry a signal that is modulated at one end and demodulated at the other and then converting the pattern in the waveform into analog or digital signal. So in short, fiber is very efficient but it is not that cost effective as copper which suffers from interference from any nearby equipment, uses too many hardwares but it is much cheaper than fiber optic cables which in turn is highly resistant signal degradation and interference. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, comment about it, share it and as for always subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.